hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is Mythical Sausage. How is everybody doing? Oh man, if you notice something a little different, yep, we're in the snapshot. The latest snapshot for Minecraft 1.16 is out today and I gotta play with it. I gotta play around here. We gotta do a little bit of a house. I wanna do a little bit of a let's build here with you guys. Just use some of the blocks that we have and we have a lot. Check this out. Oh yeah, and this is the best armor in the game. Look how beautiful this is. We were wearing some netherite armor. This is amazing. Oh, I can't wait to use this. And we can actually use that as decoration for builds but look at all these blocks look at this we got warp stem blocks warp stemmed strip blocks this so amazing all this warped planks and stuff all this is looking really really cool what's like an aqua tint to it very fantasy like i can use this for a lot of um a lot of builds a lot of concepts we're gonna be playing around with these today also the crimson one look at these crimson blocks check it out that is looking so good and then over here we got some ancient debris oh that's awesome we weeping vines it's gonna look so good for added detail to our builds i just can't wait um uh, don't worry about those those are old school i'm just gonna bring along with this build today but we got crimson nicelium warped nicelium uh that is so nice and the block of netherite that looks so good so industrial i can't wait to use that block also the new shroom light so nice and the basalt man it's oh man imagine we could craft this into other things like stabs and stairs please i love it but also look at that sword but <laughs> really quick let me get some stuff together we already got them here but i'm gonna pick a, a, a pretty cool block palette right now we're sitting in uh, which biome was this what's the name of this biome let's check the biome we're sitting in the crimson forest so i'm gonna build a starter house right now in the crimson forest and see what kind of awesomeness we can make out of this but also let me know do you want to see uh builds in other biomes here we got the soul sand valley we got the the warped valley there's a bunch of places i don't know what they're called but let's go ahead and start this one right now all right, let's get this starter house started. So, right now, this is the box I'm going to be using specifically for this build. I'm going to go with some nether brick, uh, also some nether brick stairs, and some nether brick walls, some fences there as well. We're also going to bring in the strip crimson, uh, all the crimson blocks. We're going to bring in some basalt, and I might throw in a little bit of that uh, block of nether right there just to make it look cool. I'm going to make it very simple, very starter worthy. Only materials that you can find here in the nether we're going to use. Also, I want to add a nether portal section here so we can go in and out from this thing, uh, and it's going to be awesome. We can go back to the overworld from here uh so let's start it out i'm gonna make a very simple very very small starter house so right here let's take uh, another brick and we're gonna go one two three four five right here one two three four five and we're gonna make a little five by five box super super tiny that's your little center point right there super small but i'm gonna put a high very fantasy like roof for this so right there we're starting this out now you know what i want to give it uh, a little bit of a border so let's go right on the edges we're gonna go with nether bricks just like this just like so and then let's put some stairs right on top of those blocks we just placed going all the way around like this perfect then i want to have a front door right here but i also want a little bit of an overhang so let's do this i'm going to bring in the nether brick and let's go out one more here one layer uh let's go out again and again so this is just out by five out by two from this block there we go now let's lift this up right on this corner one two and three let's go right here in this corner or well, one and two from here then I'm going to go with some upside down stairs of our nether brick right here. One, two, and three, just like so. And then down here, I'm also going to do a little bit of a step up. And right? it's going to go up right here on this side. So let's go one and two. We can even take this down if we want, but I'm just going to extend this little bit right here. That's not, not a big deal. So one and two from this side and one and two from this side, just like so. Then I'm going to take this down one more. Let's make it go level to this section. So it looks like this. And let's also put it level to this section. Let's grab our fences, our nether fences here, uh, nether brick fence. Just go one, two, and three right there. So it's looking cool. Then next up, let's go right here and start lifting these walls. And I'm going to be using, uh, let's go with our stripped uh, crimson block right here. This stripped crimson stem. Let's go up one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Right on all these corners, right on those gaps between the two stairs, just like that. And then right in the inside, I'm going to go with the crimson planks. Let's go up one, two, three, one, two, and three. Upside down stair here. And let's cross beam that stem right there. I love that block. That looks so cool. Then let's do the same thing on this side. So one, two, and three. One, two, and three. I'm going to put a full block on this one. I'm going to put an upside down stair and then cross beam right on this end. And let's come back this way. So we're going to go one, two, three, one, two, three. Put a full block upside down stair and let's cross beam this now over here i want to do a little bit uh, of an extension to this end here uh and this is how we're going to do it uh let's go ahead and bring our nether brick again right here let's go down another one two three let's turn this way again let's go one two and three 
And then here I'm gonna go in. Uh, we're just gonna we're gonna leave this part open though, but we're gonna take this up right here. But before we do that, let's do what we've been doing around this edge just here. Let's do a little bit of a surrounding border right here with full blocks, and then our stairs facing inward. One here, one here, one on this side, and then one on this side. Then I'm gonna take this wall up, and it's gonna go a little lower. It's gonna go up one, two, and three only. Here, one, two, and three only. And hold on, let me get this thing out of the way. All right, perfect, that looks good now. Now let's do this. Actually, let's get rid of these little stairs that we have there placed. I'm gonna extend this wall a little bit. So let's go right here, full blocks all the way down till we get to the end, just like so. And do the same thing over here. So we're going one, two, and on the third layer, take it down like so. All right, now from this side, I'm gonna put some stairs. Let's go here, one, two, and three. And then here, we're just gonna go ahead and spread this out right here. This is a little a hoglin pen that we're gonna have right here. And I think that's a good little combo right there. We can even add uh, a couple of these crimson roots in here. That looks really awesome. Actually, just maybe one in this corner, because right here in the center, uh, we're gonna do a little bit of uh, just a fence gate. Just gate one, two, and three. And I'll keep our hoglin in there nice and, and snug. Then let's go with some upside down stairs and a uh, crimson trapdoor in the center. And that is our little hoglin pen right there. That's so cool. All right, now let's work on the roof. So I'm gonna do an outer border out of the nether brick. The inner lining is gonna go with the warped uh, block. So let's actually start right here from this side. I'm gonna take this all the way down, overhanging that bit from one end to the other. Now I'm gonna do a little more of a fantasy roof. So we're gonna put an upside down stair here. I'm gonna go with a full block on top. And then we're gonna go with a stair on top of this. I'm gonna go with an upside down stair here another full block and a stair on top of this. That's gonna look very fantasy, I love it. Now, on the front part here, let's go with an upside down stair. We're gonna go with a full block on top. We're gonna go with an upside down stair right here. Oh, no, uh, there we go. And a stair on top, just like this. Now, let's bring this back down. So we're gonna put a stair right here, put a full block, upside down stair here, stair on top, full block underneath, upside down stair here. I'm gonna bring that step down right there. And then right here on this end, watch this, we're gonna take it down one more with an upside down stair. Then I'm gonna take this block straight like this, the stair block, and then we're gonna go ahead and bring this all the way down and extend that bit just like so. Once this gets to this section, we're gonna go with an upside down stair. Let's go with a full block, stair on top, upside down stair, full block, stair on top, upside down stair right here, which would be the center point right at that end. We're gonna do the same thing, full block, upside down stair, stair on top. This is gonna look like this. Now let's bring this right back down. So stair on top, full block, upside down stair. Let's put our stair here, full block, upside down, and then we should take it right down to here. And this is pretty much just gonna go down and we're gonna mirror this side. So let's do this again. So upside down stair, full block, stair on top, upside down, Full block, stair on top, upside down here. Full block, stair, upside down, and then bring it back down. We're gonna repeat the same thing. So we're going with the stair, full block, upside down, stair on top, full block, upside down stair, regular stair there. Bring this stair upside down, and this should connect here. Let's actually twist that so it has a nice little connection. So, so far we have this really awesome roof. Now the only thing we need to do is just connect everything in the middle and we're gonna be doing this with the lovely and beautiful warped planks. So let's go ahead and do this. So I'm gonna go with full blocks going down from here to here. Now on this side, it's gonna continue with that full block. Then here we're gonna go with our stair going all the way down. This is gonna connect to a full block right on the inside. This is gonna be a stair on top of that. We're gonna go with full blocks. It's gonna go all the way down to the end. This should connect right to that spot right there. Then we're gonna continue this stair going all the way down. Should stop right there at this edge. Then over here, let's just connect our nether brick till this point right here. Let's connect this little spot right here with our warped, another warped. We're going with two stairs and connect the nether brick in the center. So from here, it should look like that. Now let's continue on this side. So we're gonna go again with our full blocks going all the way back to the end. Stairs going all the way down to this point. Full block in this gap. Stair on top. Then we're gonna go with our full blocks going all the way down. Connect to that stair. Then we're going with our stairs all the way down. And then connect this part, full blocks here and here. And stairs on top. So it should look like this from the top. And it's looking awesome. Now, next up, let's bring this all the way down. Perfect, and then here we're gonna fill it in. But I wanna put a window up here as well. So let's do this corner first. So let's go with a full block stair 
four block stair. Let's do it over here on this side. So four block stair, four block and stair. Now on this one, very cool. I'm just gonna go up here. I'm gonna take this up one and two, one and two. Here, we're gonna throw in our uh, warped plank. Do another warped right here. Then I'm gonna go with our nether brick. Another nether brick on this side. I'm gonna upside down stair that. We're gonna put a full block on top, stair out, and another stair on top of that. We're gonna put upside downs on both of those right there, which looks really cool. Then I'm gonna take this back. We're gonna put a full block and a full block, stair and a stair. And then we're just gonna take our nether rack, all, oh, nether brick all the way to the end, just like so. Now, one little thing, this is actually bothering me there. Let's get rid of this one and replace that with um, the same warp right there. Then on top of here, we're just gonna do a little bit of a cross uh, stemmage, because <laughs> that's a stem, right? Uh, and then uh, we're gonna go ahead, let's grab our trap doors, and I'm gonna go with the crimson trap door. We're gonna put them right on the edge, right here and right here. Uh, and why not? Let's put one on the top. Now for this little gap right here, it's really simple. I'm just gonna cover it up with uh, just crimson planks. So let's take it all the way down, all the way around right here. I'm gonna put an upside down, well, regular stair of the crimson. Wait, I have it right here. Uh, let's put it right there. And we have ourselves a nice little window. Uh, and then also, uh, we can do a little bit of an overhang here. So let's put two upside down stairs here and a slab of nether brick in the center, just like so. So let's repeat this on this end real fast. So we're covering all this up right here with our crimson, put a stair on top, upside down, upside down, stair, and a slab in the center. Just like so. All right, now on this side, I wanna put a little bit of an overhang. So let's put a nether brick wall here, one on this side, and then I'm gonna go with our nether brick slab. Just go all the way down like this. I'm gonna put this going up gradually like so with slabs. We're gonna repeat it on this side. So a double slab and a double slab right there. And then in the middle gaps, we're gonna come back in here with the warped slabs and take this one all the way up. And that should look like that. That looks so awesome. Look at this house. Now, another thing I wanna do is let's put um, these, I'm um, going with the warped fences as windows, uh, since if you are here making this as a starter house, you're not gonna have, um, you're not gonna have glass. So let's go ahead and put this around like that. So we have this connected all the way around. Now, let's go back to the uh, side part right here and let's fill this in. So I'm gonna put a little cross uh, stemmage right there. That's a new, I'm trademarking that. Uh, and then over here, we're gonna just fill in these little gaps with the crimson, just like so. Uh, for this little section here, I'm just gonna go with slabs uh, going down just like this, right in the center. All right, now we're gonna do our nether portal. So let's actually set it up right here in this corner with obsidian. I'm gonna go up right from here, another one, two, three, and four. We're gonna go down one, two, three here. And from here again, one, two, three, and four. And I think if we go in right from this part, we're gonna take this down, one, two, three, four, five. So we're gonna do it right there. That's a good spot right there, I like that. Then I'm gonna go ahead and bring our nether brick and take this down, one, two, three, four, five, six. Come back this way, one, two, and then one, two, three, four. Excuse me, Hoglin, that's, you're, you're nice. You wanna go to the overworld? I'll take you home later. You're nice, okay, go. Get out of here. And then from here, we're good. <laughs> then let's take this down uh, over here. I want to put a little step up and a little step down right here. So let's grab stairs. I'm just going to go well. one, two, and three. Let's do it over here as well. One, two, and three, just like so. Now, I also want to give this almost like a little bit of an enclosure here. So what if we take this up right here? Let's go right on this section. One, two, three, four, five. Let's cover this up as well. One, two, three. So right there. Let's cover this part as well. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and five. Right there, that looks good. And then right here, one, two, three, and that is looking cool. Now, I'm gonna lift this up right here on this end. So another one, two, three, and then one on top. Just like so, covering this bit. And then I'm gonna bring our stairs down right here. So you're not gonna see that obsidian on this part, and you're not gonna see it also on this part. Now on the top here, we're just gonna give it a little bit of slab. And we're gonna go down here, one, two, three, and four. And then over here, we're gonna cover this bit of obsidian up. And I'm just gonna take this up right here, another one. Oh, well, technically that's two, because it's already one. So one, two, three, four, five. And then right on top, we're gonna put another block like so. We can get rid of that little bit right there. Oh, it's a little dark, hold on. There we go, this is looking awesome. Now next up, I'm gonna put some walls on top like so, and some walls on top of this one, and one in the center. Now to connect this stairwell to this stairwell, I want to give a little bit of detail here. Let's get rid of this part here. I'm gonna go with some full blocks right here. One, two, three. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. Let's also do another three right here. I'm gonna take this bit out right here and let's take it all the way down. 
and then just wrap it around to this part. So we have ourselves a little bit of a platform here. Uh, it is over this area, so I can play around with it and maybe drop down some details here. If your terrain is different, again, it'll be just flat, so you wanna do this. But I'm just gonna play around with this section over here. Just bring that down a little. So it kind of looks like it's breaking out and it's going down right there. That looks pretty cool. So something like that, that looks awesome. Uh, we can even bring some fences down here to it one, two, and I'm gonna put uh, one right here on this side. I'm also gonna bring some lanterns back in here and look at this, we got this soul fire lantern, which is amazing. And I gotta use this, oh, look at that. That looks so cool. Uh, we can even take this one back up on this end. Let's put another one on top here. All right, now we're almost done. So let's go ahead and detail this place up even more. So uh, we can go ahead and add so much detail to this. Now, one thing we could do, well, number one, uh, we can come in here and, and just change the landscape a little bit. We can bring some of the warp fungus into the crimson or, or vice versa. We can also bring a little bit of these uh, lovely weeping vines. So we can take some down right here. And oh, that, that adds to so much. Look at that, isn't that cool? Yeah, a little bit right here. And just give a little bit of an overgrown feel to it. Like that, it just adds so much detail. We're gonna have so much fun with this. Also like this, we could bring in some stairs and break up the walls as well. Uh, so oh, don't be afraid to do that. So we can come back in here in certain spots and just break these walls up just like that. Uh, down here on the bottom, we can add uh, some of the funguses here. This fungi, is this fungi? No, warp roots, it's not a fungus. It, it looks like a fungus. Uh, and then we can mix and match these down here. Oh, not the light. Uh, stuff like this, we can even come in here uh, and give it like little bits of flower box action as well uh it could be like this or uh you can lift this up like so and this is even cooler and then bring in our trap doors it could bring any of the new trap doors i'm gonna go with the uh the warped uh ones and then we can cover this up just like so and we have ourselves a, a nether flower box and that is so cool i heard something go grr, grr, grr. that was weird uh I'm, I'm a little frightened for my life uh so something like that just to make it look pretty cool and just mix and match it and there we go we got ourselves a custom nether flower box and that is so cool we can add another one here maybe on this side but this one i'm gonna leave it clean i'm gonna leave this one open uh i'm gonna have maybe a little bit of a of a seat right here so let's grab a little bit of a stair uh and you know what Let, how about this let's bring in the nether wart uh block stair yeah the nether red brick stair you can bring a little a little step uh, step right here a little seat that looks pretty cool uh but then we can add even more details back here by adding more of these little overgrown weeping willow things right there that looks so cool uh we can even bring some on the top ends too uh and just have fun with it just go ahead and bring this down some of these can go real low too and that looks really nice now another thing we could do is on the roof we can break these up as well by bringing in some stairs in certain spots make it a little bit more roughed up and we could do them on this end as well we can even bring some of these into full blocks like this just so it can be even more broken and then we can even change some of these up right here maybe put a slab on each end just to break that up even more and we can do it up here as well just to make it look a little bit more roughened up so something like that just adds to the detail of this thing now another thing we could do i want to do some hanging lights so what do we do this let's bring in a little bit of the crimson stem and let's take this out right here let's go out one two three let's put a little bit of a hanging light right here so we can bring in the fence like so and hang that light from there that looks so cool we can even do this again over here on this end so let's take this out go one two three hang a fence and let's hang our uh soul fire lantern that is my favorite lantern in the game right now you're not going to change my mind so one two three let's go with a little hanging light and let's drop that down right there we can even bring some of the brand new buttons we got some warp buttons man come on that's amazing let's put a button here i'm not going to put one on this side because it's not going to look good over that uh and we're going to add those buttons around just like so that is looking awesome now we can even mess around a little bit with the terrain uh and over here let's grow some of these crimson fungus maybe a little bit over here uh let's actually grow also some of the warp fungus and let's add it to this area so we can go ahead and change these up maybe something like that and let me go ahead and add this just randomly scattered all the way around and we're all done with our first minecraft 116 snapshot starter house i love the way this came out let me go ahead and flip let's take a look at the inside this came out really cool little details that i did add I added a little bit more of that red nether brick on the bottom just to break up uh the flooring also on this side we added this amazing new door so cool giving me that wood elf vibe man i can't wait to use this in the overworld too but let's go on the inside so very basic things just our furnace our 
our crafting bench, some barrels. Uh, we got a ladder to go up to the second floor, uh, a little barrel here with a light, a little seating area, and uh, some paintings looking very cool. Up in the top, we have ourselves a little bit more storage here on the side. Our armor stand with the best armor in the game right there. Looking so cool. Lovely texture. I love it. Uh, we got our little purple bed and some uh, blue. Light blue? No, cyan carpet. Some paintings along the way, and it looks really, really awesome. What do you guys think? Oh, man. Let's go on the outside over here. Add it a little bit more uh, of our, uh, what is this called again? Warp stem. <laughs> it looks so cool because it kind of looks like we're melding in different biomes together, and I love it. Over here, we got a hoglin inside the hoglin pen. Uh, on the inside here, a little bit of some details there for some hanging lights. You hang in there. You stay in there. Bye. Uh, and then uh, more of this awesome, uh, awesome tree. Is this tree? Is this kind of, no, this is not a tree. This counts as a as a as a mushroom right these are mushrooms what's up Hawkman? uh and it's looking so cool also added some of the soul sand the regular one and the soul soil which is awesome try to say that three times fast uh, <laughs> along with our flower boxes here another portal to go back into the overworld and i just put a little bit of a corner here just with some blocks and netherite uh a little stack up right there in the corner but what do you guys think oh man this came out really 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 cool i love this style definitely could see a bunch more styles in these biomes here in the nether but let me know what other biomes in the nether should i make a building what style i'm thinking some orc style also here in the crimson we could do some really creepy eerie stuff in the soul uh soul sand valley uh and then jump back over and check out the uh the other location what was the name of the other one the warp forest maybe <laughs> i think so but let me know what you guys think i'm out of here for now thank you all so much for watching can't wait for more 116 builds but i'm out thank you for watching i'll see you on the next minecraft video goodbye